Time for another ballistics gel test. Today we're shooting Federal Fusion 130 grain out of the 270 Winchester. And here is the box for that Federal Fusion. Don't worry about that. I tried to tear off the little thing security device. I, I didn't steal it, okay? I bought it, I promise. I bought it and they leave that on. I tried to take it off of the camera, screwed up the box. Anyways, flip it around. Here is your promo info, your ballistics data. You can read that if you like, but let's go ahead and take a look at the ammo itself, if I can get it open. Voila, here we go. So, per standard, sealed primers with federal ammo. That's that little blue lacquer stuff, nice touch. Federal ammo always looks pretty good. They're known for quality. Their federal fusion line isn't premium. It's not like their federal premium line, but it is really, really good stuff. Every federal, fu I am stumbling over my words. Every federal fusion round, I have shot on this channel so far has performed absolutely insanely good so I have no reason to expect this to perform any different and the test rifle today is going to be my Winchester model 70 featherweight chambered in 270 of course it's got a 22 inch barrel up top I've got a Swarovski Z3 3 to 10 by 42 and bringing up the rear of course I've got one of my Mason leather cartridge cuffs I've got 270 stamped right in check out my website masonleather.com i would absolutely love to make you one and i have got to show you coming around to the other side i've got my white tail deer design we'll be taking three shots from 100 yards firing into 10 percent ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the fbi's ballistics testing protocol and while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other after the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And we're down at the blocks after shooting the Federal Fusion 130 grain out of the 270, and we did manage to capture all three bullets. So we got one right here. This almost came out the top of the block, but we got it at about 20 and a quarter inches. And then we have one down here that is right about, I mean, I'm estimating, but I'm going to be pretty close. That's right about 20 and we'll call it an eighth. It's a little bit shallower than that one. And then we got one right here. I don't want to, I mean, I'll dig it out in a second, but there's one that is just barely in the edge of this block. So we're going to give that one 16 and 7 eighths. And, well, we'll give it 17. It's, it's in there a little further, 17 inches. And let's take a look at the velocities for that Federal Fusion 130 grain out of the 270 Winchester. Our high was 2904. Our low was 2867. And our average was 2889. And here we're looking at those Federal Fusion 130 grain bullets pulled from the ballistics gel. And these things just look absolutely incredible, just like pretty much every Federal Fusion bullet we've tested so far. As far as weight retention goes, we saw 123, 127, and 127 grains respectfully for an average of 126 grains. That's 97% weight retention. That is phenomenal for a non-monolithic bullet. Now let's talk about expanded diameter. We saw 0 0.75, 0 0.72, and 0.74 inches respectfully for an average of 0.74 inches of expanded diameter. So not only did it have incredibly consistent weight retention, but it also has incredibly consistent expansion. That works out to 2.7x expanded diameter. That is phenomenal. And as far as velocity goes, we saw a high of 2,904 feet per second, a low of 2,867 feet per second for an average of 2,889 feet per second. And versus the factory build velocity of 3,050 feet per second, we did come in quite a bit slower, 161 feet per second slow to be precise on average. But hey, we all know the factory is using longer barrels under ideal test conditions. It is what it is, and velocity is the least thing I'm worried about. 
And as far as penetration goes, we saw 20 and a quarter inch, 20 and an eighth inch, and 17 inches for an average of 19 and one eighth inch of penetration. And that is just a hair under on average of my 20 inch benchmark that I like to see for medium game hunting ammo. But as I always say, most deer are between 12 and 14 inches wide at the shoulder. So if you've got a good broadside shot, there's definitely no issue here. I just like to use that 20 inch benchmark for a little bit of leeway in case you don't have that perfect shot. Final thoughts on that Federal Fusion 130 grain 270 Winchester load. Y'all, it just keeps dominating. Federal Fusion across all calibers, all bullet weights, everything just keeps kicking ass and taking names. And this particular load is no exception. We had 97% weight retention, 2.7x expansion. It held together and expanded. It's crazy. And then we had 19 and an eighth inches of penetration on average. We didn't quite hit my 20 inch benchmark on average, but two of those three shots did go past 20 inches. So I'm pretty happy with it, especially considering this is a somewhat light for caliber bullet. There are 150 grain 270 loads that are quite common. So all in all, I think this is an absolutely excellent choice for general medium game hunting out of your 270 especially if your rifle likes it i'm definitely a convert i'm going to be using federal ammunition this coming hunting season i'll let you know how it does if i get something with it but if you've used this particular load on game while hunting let me and everybody else know in the comments how you did Hey, if you enjoy these videos, check out my website, masonleather.com, and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade, and I would love to make you something. The link is in the video description. And check out my channel for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.